All right, so today we are going to be making African houses. And the first thing that we need to do is take our paper and we're going to be folding it however you would like. You can do it in thirds, you can do it in quarters, which would be how many times, Jules? If you were doing it in quarters. Um, once. Once, and then? Your, your necklace is getting in my nose. I know, and then? And twice. So if we fold it hot dog twice, when we open it up, we have how many sections? Four. Four. So in each of these sections, you can take and draw your line and then create a different type of pattern for our African house. Now, I do think it might be helpful to take one section off. This, actually, because this is gonna make our house or our hut a little too high. So, you start working on your patterns right here, and I'll be right back. So, what is a pattern? My purple, blue, purple, blue. Ah, blue, purple, blue, purple. So it's something that repeats itself. Excellent. Now, so if I, if I were to create a pattern using different geometric shapes, I could do, can I try one for you? I could do a triangle. Give me another geometric pattern. Um, square. Square. So what would I do next? If I circle. I want a circle. Okay, a circle. And then triangle. Square. Circle. Circle. Excellent. So in each of these we're going to create our African tribal pattern by using color, by using line, and I'm going to share with Julius and Simone a couple of examples of different pattern sheets that you are going to use on the website. So we will check back in with you momentarily.